you're about to see dental implants and crowns for your front teeth all done in one appointment. This three minute video will open your eyes to a new procedure that will change dental practices and patients lives forever. It sure has changed Ben's life. I am 17 and I've had this retainer for about two, three years now. I am missing two front teeth right here. I have been missing the teeth since birth, basically a congenital defect. Once my baby teeth fell out, no teeth came in to replace them. In a previous appointment with Ben, we took a Panorex x-ray and made a rubber impression which we sent off to the lab. The lab fabricated a surgical stent on a model of Ben's mouth, including titanium guiding sleeves. These sleeves will guide my drill to ensure accuracy in placing the pilot hole which starts the implant process. Before you begin, make sure you have a good tight fit with the stent. Make sure it's stable. It's great if it's got support on two sides with his teeth. Now today we're using a 15 millimeter implant and we only want to drill in about one third of the way or about five millimeters into the bone. We also need to allow extra six millimeters for the depth of the guiding sleeve, so I've set the stop at about 11 millimeters. Make sure the stent is on tight, insert the pilot guide, then begin drilling. Let the sleeve guide your drill and gently pump in and out while flushing the area with water. Now open the mini dental implant and be sure to leave the little plastic cap on. Still working through the guide on the stent, begin screwing the implant into your pilot hole. As the implant takes hold, the pressure will increase and the cap will fall off. Next you'll use a finger driver. This tool will fit precisely onto the head of the implant and allow you to use more pressure to turn the implant in even farther. Continue until you cannot turn the finger driver by hand anymore and now it's time to use the winged wrench. This will give you the leverage you need to screw the implant in until it's flush with the stent. When you reach this depth, you'll know that your implant is in the same position that it was when they fabricated your porcelain crown in the lab. Try your crown on the implant to make sure you've got a good fit. In this case, we're doing two implants with two crowns and they both look great. You'll want to cement the crowns with resin cement, the same that you would use on any crown. Then check the bite. Everything looks great here, so we're going to cure the resin, clean up, and send him home. It's about two hours now since last time and just got done with the procedure. I now have two new mini dental implants. I'm still a little numb, lips a little tingly, hard to keep them open. But everything feels okay, secure. I'm pretty happy, very happy.